Hello, welcome to my house. Come in. So guys, today I decided to do um, an apartment tour. For those that know and those that don't know, I recently moved to Lagos, Lagos City. So I, obviously everything I've done here is like from scratch. I just bought a few things. I'm not sure, maybe like the frame, which I was going to talk about in the, in, later in the video. So I just bought a few things from Port Harcourt. All my life I've been in Port Harcourt. 
I only left Potaka when I went to medical school, medical school. And then I came back from medical school, obviously did some of my posting in Potakot as well. And after that, I did some other things, which I'm going to give you like, I'm going to give you that update in a different video. Let's not talk about it here. Watch out for it. But today is house tour on a budget. So I'm such a plant lover. I really love to have like grains, like plants around me because I feel like nature is such a beautiful thing and because you know the thing with having plants at home i don't know if you've seen that anywhere they say the, the indoor um circulation is worse than the one outside that means the ones inside are more polluted so you need plants to do the filtration the whole co2 and o2 exchange so this plant is called um is it anthurium i'm going to link it in this video if what i'm saying is not correct so it's called Anthurium. I got this plant from somewhere in the Palms shop, right? It's just in front of it. It's called Aralia by Nature. I think you can find it on Instagram. I'm going to link it as well. The plant and the pot, I got it there. It wasn't anything too pricey. I've had this plant for since I moved in here, which was in May. So I've had it for almost five months now, and it's been doing very well. We've not had a bad time. I just water it once a week, and it's been really okay. I'm going to talk about my TV. Sorry about that. So I got this TV from, this is a Hisense Cove TV. I'm not sure of the length, I'll probably link it. But this is a Hisense Cove TV. I really wanted a Cove TV. I'm not, don't get me wrong, don't even think I'm always watching TV. I am one of those people that don't watch TV. But I was like, maybe the bigger, I would like it. And so far, actually, the bigger has been better because I am forced to watch it because obviously the, the the visuals i don't know if that makes sense yeah has been really nice and pretty so i find myself watching tv it's such a fantastic one because it's a smart tv i can't be bothered about dstv i'm never at home watching anyway so whenever i have the time to watch which is when i'm back from the day's work i would either netflix and chill or youtube my favorite place at the moment obviously so that's basically about my tv i got it from a vendor i'm going to link here as well but this is an old vendor that i've always known from portacot so that was how i got this it was such a good deal as well nothing too pricey okay so this is a soundbar i got from the same vendor as the tv it's an lg soundbar it, it has a, i think it comes with bluetooth and i love it so far it's been so I got this blind from an Instagram vendor. I'm going to link her name. I'm not sure I know her, her other name. I, I can't remember her business name, but I think I'll link the business name. I'm not sure what it's called, but it will be linked in the video. This is, we cho I chose this color. Guess what, guys? It was supposed to be a house. I was supposed to be getting like an interior designer for this house. But when I checked it, girl, it was expensive and it wasn't anything I could afford. So I was just like, okay, let me do this myself. So yeah, because of the, the kind of couch I had in mind. Okay, so I'll talk about this art work. I'm not sure I can explain. I'm not very good at explaining art, but it looks like somewhere in Lagos because of the taxi, the yellow and black taxi. And then it also looked like somewhere in New York that has like um that has like a nigerian embassy somewhere one of those offices because of the nigerian flag i'm not too sure how this go how they came about this but i think that's what i thought about so i kind of see new york actually when i look at it because that's like my favorite city in the u.s so let me talk about my couch i am in love with this color i know some 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 people will be wondering what she doing with this amount of colors? Why so many colors? Girl, I've been through the most. In fact, 2019 came with a lot of drama and a lot of sad news here and there. So I just wanted a space where when I come home, because I love colors a lot, they make me really happy. I love colors, I love light. They make me really happy. And not white light, I love, uh, sorry, not white light. I love warm white, actually. So I had to go for like a color that I'm very happy with. And then this couch was done by an Instagram vendor as, 
as well. I'm going to link it here. Her name is Lash Interior. Aisha, her name is Aisha. She's such a sweet girl, actually. So she, I told her what I wanted, sent her a picture, and she delivered the exact picture I sent. And then the throw pillows and the covers were gotten from... I actually got her contact from someone. Uh, her name is Netu Anko. I'll link it as well. I think I like it. It was really nice because she did a bit more of the things inside. So that's it for my couch. This is all I have here. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this. We call it center table or coffee table. It was just... I looked at this space. Initially, I didn't actually want anything. I just wanted like a free space because guess what? You're going to see like really small houses in Lagos and you'll be wondering why. But well, it's what it is and you have to make do with what you, what you have. So I just wanted, when I looked at the space, I was like, I think it looks a bit boring. So I just wanted something really small. And then obviously I contacted um, Lash Interior as well. And this is what we came up with, something really small and simple. And then I actually got this, um, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? Leave a comment if you guessed right. I'm a happy price for you actually. So this is, doo -doo, this is a candle actually. It was, I got it for the last time I went to Cape Town. I thought it was something really cute. I saw it and I was wondering what could this be? And then it looked like it, a teddy bear and at the same time, it's so good, good. And I was like, oh, this will look really nice in my space. And then I had to get it. And I think it's really pretty. And it looks very fine in the space as well. So I got this and I also got the tree. They were both from H&M, H&M Homes in Cape Town. And then this tiny little cactus plant. I'm so in love with them. I got it from the same place I got uh, some of my plants. I'm going to link it, but I'm, t I'm sure the people, those of you that live in Lagos, even if you don't live in Lagos, it's very, it's, it's like in a very um, obvious place on um, Admiralty, just facing the Lake Ikoi Bridge, the entrance of Lake Ikoi Bridge. There's a horticulture, horticulture place there. That's where I got them. Nothing too expensive. I think they're about 2,500 or so. The pots as well, the pots were like one five. Very cute. I like it. I don't know if you do. This shelf was also made by Lash Interior. I, my living room is like a whole space. Oh, sorry, not like a whole space, like a walkway, it's like straight. If you've been, you, of course, nobody has been to my house except my siblings and my staff. So it's like a, it's like a, what's it called? Like a hallway. It's like one kind of slim living room. It's not like it's, I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, yeah. So I thought about what will be in this area, what will be here. It looked a bit boring. Oh my God, that scared me. So I thought about having a shelf here. So obviously I contacted Lash Interior and then she came up. I showed her a picture and she delivered almost, almost exactly the same thing I wanted. And then, then I just had to put in a few things. I got this lavender. This is like a dry lavender. I love lavender so much. Obviously, even if I'm not getting, even if I'm not getting a lot of the lavender thing going on in my space, but the presence of lavender is very satisfying for me. So I got a dry lavender. The pot as well, I got it from there. It was nothing too pricey as well. And then this picture frame, I got it from the same place as the pot, H&M in Cape Town. I wanted something big, but I didn't, I wasn't able to see anything big and I didn't want to spend money. This was like, Converting it to Naira, I think it was like two five or three thousand. I'm not sure. And then I had to put in one of the pictures I took in Cape Town just to have the memory. I don't know if you do that because anytime I travel anywhere, I like to have like a memory of these things. Which other places I've traveled to, I think I've misplaced everything. All the memories, I don't know where they are. But obviously, some of them are at home. But here, this is all I have here. And then these are the only books I have read in 2019 quite embarrassing but you can't do all of it I'm trying to make money too as well and also really really try to survive in 2019 and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful to God I'm here and I'm making this kind of video I don't know if you understand what that means but it's quite deep so yeah I got this box as well from it's, there's a store by is it Fraser's Plaza or someone at Admiralty 
facing Zeni Bank. I just saw it and I was like, oh, what's this treasure, like, treasure box kind of thing? And then I just got it. I thought it was perfect for the shelf and I got it. That's how we got here. This is supposed to be a diffuser, but I don't know what it diffuses. It's just here and now it's finished. I'm not even sure what this diffused, but I just thought it was like a deco and that's why it's still here. I got it from Mini. Is it Mimoso? Mimoso? There's this store in ShopRite. They really have like fancy stuffs. I had a lot. I, I got a lot of fancy stuffs from there. So, but this was not, I was not so impressed with this one. Everything else was okay, guys. And then this is not a life plant. This is an artificial plant. I saw the basket, it looked really nice. So I thought I should just get it for my shelf. It was only three five or three thousand naira. So the treasure box as well was, was, was about four five or four thousand. I'm not too sure if I because I, I, I keep all my receipts, so I'm probably going to link it down here. And then this was gotten from um, this was gotten from South Africa, obviously. I just wanted to also have a memory of. Cape Town in my house because it was quite a memorable trip for me. So I really liked this. I think I got this got this from it's somewhere at, somewhere around Victoria Wharf in Cape Town. Some African. I'll link it. I'll just add it in the video. That's why we got this. It wasn't pricey, so if you're there, you can get it. It's really, it was really nice. So I got it. Then this basket also, I got them from Minoso. I don't know why I can't pronounce this thing and I see it all the time. I'll link, I'll have it subtitled in the video. I got this basket from there. I saw it as something really fancy and it will be some, it will be good to be, it will, it will be good as some form of storage in the shelf as well, which I used to keep some books and some papers anytime I'm writing and I just wanted something close. I throw it in there. So that's why the basket is there and also a nice decor as well. Oh, this table. Anyway, the reason why this space looks like this is obviously this area, I just wanted it to, because I wanted this table here and then I was like, that was another thing I brought this shelf actually. And then I was like, oh, let me have a wooden thing going on around here as well. So this table, I actually got this table and the vendor as well, when after watching, um, Dima Omer's house store. That was how I got the person that did this table. Immediately I saw it in her video, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get this table. So I paused the video there, got the person's contact immediately and contacted her. Let's just start talking about my table because I didn't know how long it would take for them to make the table. And guess what? It was really fast. I think it took her like, I think it took her like 10 days or so and she delivered the same day she said she was going to deliver. And it's, I didn't want like the... I didn't want like the general, the regular kind of house, home dining. I just wanted a space where it would look like it's actually a young girl's space, nothing too mommy and daddy kind of thing, just my kind of space. So that was why I fell in love with it and I really liked it. The bench is really nice. I'm going to show you guys. The bench is so nice. So I had like a long bench in this area and then the two um, little stools so it, it can have like five people eat here. And then sometimes, because I haven't really set up my, set up it at home workspace, I like to work here sometimes, bring my printer here, do my printing and stuff like that, and also eat here. And then this plant, I got it from Aralia by Nature. Um, I think this is called an indoor um, palm. I'm not too sure, uh, link here, I think that's what it's called. I don't think this plant is doing so well, but it is what it is. I try my best for you plant, but you're not doing as good as I want you to do. But initially when it was here, it was really full and nice. I loved it. The pot as well, I got it there. It wasn't anything too pricey. I think it was about two five. And then this um, tissue box was gotten from Mini So. I keep saying Mimoso. Mini is actually Mini So. You can find them in all the shop rights, shops right, shop rights in Lagos. I found this, I got this one in the, the one in Jaconde. It wasn't anything too pricey. You know the price is there, it's like 1,990 or 1,450. So I think that's what it was. I just thought it was something really fancy. Instead of having your tissue box, the, the regular tissue boxes are like 200 or 250 are exposed on your table. I just thought I threw it in here and so far it's been really nice. 
I've had it since I moved in. Okay, so I'm sure you'll be wondering why I have my refrigerator and my washer in my living space. Wonder no more. Lagos landlords make you wonder even more. I when I got in here, I was like, what's this space supposed to be? Because this is like the room, this is like the door to the kitchen and this kind of small space. I can't set up a dining here. What do they expect? Do they think um one model is coming to live here and that I will sit one in one small seat and do what? So I was just like and then when I check the kitchen, I'm going to show you guys the kitchen. This space wasn't so big for any of these things. So I was like, I'd rather have this thing here. Even when I thought about my room, having this in my room, it didn't work. So what I did was I thought about it properly before actually going to, before actually making plans of getting the refrigerator and this. So I went for a slim refrigerator. It's really slim. Yeah, this was okay. I liked it. And then I had to put it here and then just play around the space. The blind as well was from a vendor on Instagram. I'll link it the same beige as the other one just to have like a nice contrast. Let me show you guys what the kitchen looks like. Really small. So this is my kitchen. Like it's a very small kitchen. It's just for you, no one else. Versus maybe your siblings one or two you can't have all of them in this kitchen it's not that kind of kitchen so it's very small this is my cooker i had to get like a basket the, the reason for this is it a basket or a shelf the reason for this shelf is so sometimes when i have like fresh um food like plantain and um, maybe yam I, I just put them there sometimes and then my cooker was gotten from the same vendor as the tv my fridge microwave my acs i got all of that from one person once i got if actually went to lagos island yes you need to go to lagos island because if you stay on this lucky and be doing shop right and the rest of the your money will finish in lagos don't do it so i actually went to lagos island i don't know what they call it marina or whatever so i got a few things from there like when i check the cost of let me give you an example like, you know these freezer bowls? You know these freezer bowls? This kind of freezer bowls that you can use to like do your storage, obviously. I got I got them from the market. A set of I got a set of six for two five. And then when I checked it in, I'm sorry, one of the stores on the island, it was like six five. I was like, okay, that was brilliant of me. So yeah, I did that and I got a few things from these stores on the island, but then most of the things in my kitchen, I had to get it from Lagos Island. Like, this is how I set this place up. This is like the place I put, like my blender, my blender is up there. I actually got this blender from the market and it's been working perfectly. I couldn't be bothered. It's quite cheap. I got the, my glasses. I think I got my glasses. I got my glasses from the market as well. Um, my mugs. Oh, this very pretty mug. Yellow. I love yellow. I actually got this from Miniso. Take you guys to my bedroom now. Come with me. <sighs> so this is this is like a two bedroom. The reason for, uh, for the reason I got a two bedroom was this, guys. If you go on Nigerian property, I think that's why I found this place. Nigerian property what, what, dot com, I think so I'll link it here for, for you as well that was where I got this place so by the time you check a space a one bedroom space and a two bedroom space the the, the difference is not so much maybe like a hundred thousand or fifty thousand or hundred and fifty thousand and that's what that's the difference between getting a two bedroom and a one bedroom and I was just like you know what 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 the heck get a two um, bedroom so you can have your siblings over anytime they come to Lagos. And that was, that was why I made the decision of getting a two bedroom. So let's see. So I'll take you guys to my room now. Ha ha ha. Ha I am such a, at the moment, growing up, when I was a teenager, it used to be, for some reason, it used to be a combination of purple and pink. I have to have those two colors in my room. There's no two ways about it. And then when I got older, 
I started falling in love with burgundy, but obviously I couldn't really have burgundy in my space. So rose gold was the other option. So my room is like a rose gold and white space. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. It's like a rose gold and white space. So this bed was done by a by an Instagram vendor. I'll link it down. I think it's called In Space. I'm not too sure, but I'll have to say I have to link it. I think it's called In Space. <sighs> um pricey. Was it pricey? Maybe. Maybe not. It depends on your pocket. But for me it was pricey. I think it was pricey, but I just wanted, I've suffered. <laughs> I just wanted a very, even if it's not so obviously luxurious, I just wanted a very comfortable space. Let it be that when I come home, I have a place that I'm happy to be in. So obviously that's why I, I, did, I went to be extra. If not, it, would necess it wouldn't necessarily be a bed that had a headboard or whatever. It would just be a normal bed, like the ones we had at home. But yeah, I just wanted something really fancy and nice. So that's how we came up with it. It wasn't too pricey, but pricey for me. Maybe not for you. But I'll link it here and you can contact her and make your inquiries for yourself. So before I talk about my blind, let me talk about these things, these little wall frames. I won't say art. I won't say wall frames. So I, I honestly want to always remind myself of Obviously, even if I don't have like coats, my coats all over the place, the basic ones that are really important to me that I want to always see and then be reminded that you need to do this is this one. You see this? You need to have it. <laughs> you need to have it not just written in your heart, but somewhere in the house. Because if you don't do this, it's, it's hustle. If you don't hustle, my sister, my brother, you know that that meme on Instagram that says hustle, oh, made no, made no, add your, oh, made no say you don't come back, oh, when they see your slippers for the. Anyway, I'm just kidding, but this is something that constantly takes me out of the house. Like I need to get that money, I need to get that dollar every day. So when I wake up and see this, I know I need to get to work, and then I also, he also kind of keeps me in check. And then this one is a butterfly. Obviously, apart from the fact that it's in rose gold, it's a butterfly. Apart from the butterfly story from caterpillar to butterfly, I also like my freedom so much. I am a Gemini, the air sign. You know what all of that is. Don't even judge me. I'm a good Gemini. All Geminis are good too. Come on. Don't even bother about that. But yeah, all my Geminis. We're like the best people. I mean, reading about Geminis, you know that we're like the best people. I'm not going to say anything bad about the other signs, but if you're not a Gemini, <laughs> what's the point? But yeah, so this is it for me. Apart from the butterfly story that it reminds me of, that you can be this yesterday, Bernadine, and then tomorrow you can be this. So keep doing what you have to do. Keep working hard. So that's what this is for me, because today you might be... Bernadine that is just struggling, running around Lagos, and then by tomorrow, obviously, you can be out there, up there, and doing very big things. So that's it for me, the butterfly story, and that I love my freedom so much, and I want to be as free as the butterfly. And then, obviously, love is the greatest commandment, is the greatest commandment of them all. If you love, then every other thing, it's like secondary. So I want to be reminded that love is everything. Love is love makes the world go round. Love is the even loving someone is the best feeling. Being good to people is the best feeling. So I want to always be reminded that love is the only religion actually in existence. So that's really what this means to me. You can add or insert your own quotes. But that's it. That's what it is for me. So that's it for the artwork on the wall. And then the the what's it called the blind as well was done by the same person which I'll be which will be linked so all my blinds were done by one person the the side stools came with the bed as well it was complimentary for the price of the bed and then my foam I got an orthopedic foam I don't know if it's I don't know if it happens to you 
I noticed I started having back aches from the regular bed, so I had to get like a semi-orthopedic foam. Then my, um, my, what's it called? My side lamps. I got this from Ikea. I ordered it and sent it to a friend's house in the UK and it was sent to me. I think the same thing as my rug. I didn't talk about it, but I got my rug from Ikea as well. It was really cheap. I think it was about, not like really cheap, but it was affordable. I think it was, it was about 20 pounds or so. And then in Naira, that's like almost 5,000 or 4,000 something. So I don't think, was it 20 pounds, 25 pounds? You can check it out or I'll link it here. I got them from Ikea. So that was the price for that. I thought, I, I thought it was really fancy. I just wanted something that, oh, when you come back home, it feels like a little hotel in New York. And that's why I came up with that. And yeah, come, come, come. Okay, the, the, sh the beddings, the beddings was actually done by the same person that did my tropilios. I'll link it. I think her name is Neetu Anko. She's very calm and nice and she delivers on time. Her delivery is really good. Her packaging is fantastic. You will be impressed if you order there. I got this frame, the same place I got my treasure box or whatever, somewhere by Brazos Plaza on Admiralty. I think it was for like 2000 or 15, I'm not too sure. And then I have a picture of I am my boyfriend when we traveled to Cape Town. It was supposed to be, um, let me not say it was supposed to be. I actually wanted to have like my mom's picture by my bed, my mom and my dad, may they are still rest in peace. I actually wanted their pictures beside me. But I was like, no need to do that. I literally see my mom every other night in my sleep. There was no need for me to have a picture. So I was like, okay, let me have something. Since I'm a lover girl, let me just have a love something beside me. So that was how, that was what I thought of and then had this. And obviously it's a memorable one as well. So I just wanted it to be there as well. And then this plant, I got it from the same place, the Ikoi, the opposite, the place opposite the Ikoi, Leki, Leki Ikoi Bridge. This is, this plant is called Dracrina. I'll have to link it as well. It's called Dra 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 Dracrina, I think. I just wanted something, I wanted nature by my bed. Something also to do the filtration thing I talked about as well. Because obviously sometimes we always close our rooms and the AC, AC, AC. So I just wanted something to filter the air in my room and then something really close to the bed. You wake up in the morning, you see nature and you feel very good. So that's the reason for this plant. And I really like it. It's been doing so well. They're like my babies. Anytime I look at them, I feel like I'm feeding them well. So that's it for that. So let me take you to my vanity table. I don't know why it's called vanity table. Vanity, sha, I don't have vanity. Oh. It's just basic things so every girl has a oh. normal um, drawer. My drawer just has like my earrings, my watches, a few of them. And this plant, the same place, I'm plant person. I will soon turn my house to bush. I pray I don't. The same place, Lekki Ikoi, opposite Lekki Ikoi Bridge. And then this is like my makeup area. Most of the things I have in here is from Mac. Mac is my all-time favorite. But obviously, our weather doesn't do too well with the foundation, which I don't care, I don't mind. I also do it, but at the moment, <sighs> Body Shop has taken over everywhere. More than 70% of the things I have in here is from Body Shop. So it's literally, it's just between Body Shop and Mac. My bathroom. Can you see it with me? It's small. I'll call this small. So this is a simple bathroom space. Obviously, the towel hangers. Um, the towel hanger. It's like an extra hanger if you want to have your towel there. And the bathing area. This is just a basic um, wardrobe. I just have um, a few of my clothes hanging here. And then these ones are well laundered and arranged there. And then these are... These are all the things I have in my life. The reason why these are all the things I have in my life is because these are all the things I want to have in my life. But the truth is, I have two sisters. So you can't always have so much. Decluttering is by force. So you have to wake up, open 
and give out or they will take it themselves but the reason why it's like this obviously i had to leave like a huge percentage of my stuff in Portacot. the reason being the reason for that is when you're home you need to have something so they don't always move around so this is all i have in lagos so let's see the second room <laughs> So this is the second room. Obviously, it's actually set up like a guest room. The reason for that is the money has finished. I couldn't do more and I don't intend to do more for now. The only thing I have plans for this place is to have it look like a vlogging area, which it has some, right, some, set, some, right, some setups going on. Just to have it like a vlogging area and then also an area where you can rest if you're tired of walking. So it's also it's got it's also gonna be like a workspace. That's the setup I have in mind because it, it has a very good light from there when the day is bright. So I like it a lot. But I don't know what to say about the wardrobe because I'll be back in the wardrobe and I don't think it looks really nice. But I'll figure it out and then have it like a workspace and also like a sleep space. So that's it for the rooms. I hope you guys enjoy the and I hope um, you saw a few things that you probably want to try. If you would have any, I mean, if you have anything to say, you can just leave a comment down and I will give you a response. And you can always go back to the video and ask your questions. I will always be there to answer these questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would also like you guys to give it a thumbs up. I like you guys to also subscribe, share this video because guess what? It took me almost the whole day to film this video. It's a lot of work. So I like you guys to appreciate that. Share it till my next video. Thank you for watching.